So, and I, I am so honored to have this nationally, this world legend on the show, Miss Cleo Parker. Y'all give it up for Miss Cleo. Love you, Miss Cleo. We love you back. Man, you are a true, first of all, just let me say, it's such an honor to be talking to you right here on this show. I mean, I, I've seen you do so much and a lot of things that you've been doing in the community with your dance, mm. and I had the honors of hosting one of your she shows, did. and we're going to get into that in a minute. But so, so how do you feel? How do you feel? Oh, I feel good. I'm alive. That's the best part. Yes. Just love it. And you yeah, look good. Yeah. Don't you Thank look good? You. Thank you. I feel good. Shaw, I've got a legs crossed. <laughs> working it. So, so... Now, we're gonna get, let's, let's start from the beginning, uh -oh. okay? From the beginning, when, when, when you started to dance, how did you know that you wanted to dance? Well, I don't know, I, I don't know that I, I knew I wanted to dance, I just never stopped moving. Okay. I just always moved. It mm -hmm. was, you know, I was, um, anywhere I was, the minute I was, could do anything, I was mm -hmm. moving. I, danced everywhere I went, anything I was doing, I was moving. You was just moving. Yeah, so, so others would say to my parents, oh, oh she's gonna be a dancer, she's gonna be a dancer. I didn't know what that was. Mm -hmm. I just know I love music. I was right. born around music, you right. know, in Five Points. Yes. I really was born yes. right in the Brasonia, which blows my mind as I go down the street and I go, that was my apartment up there. That yes. was, you know, so I guess I was destined to dance you, because you I was around was. music that was so wonderful. Yes. So I think that's, that was my first inspiration. You right. know, my father was, for, first of all, my teacher, you yes. know, because he loved it. He, every day he said, come on, baby, we got to get out. We got jitterbug yeah. or whatever. That, you know how old I am now, jitterbug. Jitterbug. <laughs> jitterbug, jitterbug. <laughs> and, look, you and, your, and your dad still be moving. I remember oh, yeah. at, at oh, your yeah. function, your dad oh, came yeah. out there and cut a step. That is serious. He's yes, serious. he was. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Now, when you, do you remember... When, when, when you said, you know what, I want to pursue this as a career. Mm, I don't know. Um, you know, I started teaching really young. Mm -hmm. Started teaching about 15. Okay. Um, but I, you know, I, I think something tragic happened that then turned my life around. I lived in Denver all the way up till about 10, and then I lived in Dallas. Okay. That time I almost died. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, the doctors said I would never walk. I was mm -hmm. bedridden. Right. And um, I think even at that time, I made this like transition. So I'm always in this other, other space. Right. Everybody's like, are y'all okay mm -hmm. over there? You know, but I think it's because I've made lots of physical transitions. Right. I had a heart attack. So at right. that time, right after that, mm -hmm. I then figured, well, if I'm going to die, mm -hmm. I might as well be dancing. Right. I don't really. Right. Don't really. I mean, uh, I think it was really right. young that I made some kind of kind of deep connection right. with, with my body and my soul right, right then. Well, I'm you glad know. that you kept yeah, dancing yeah, because yeah. you did so, so I much. I decided I wanted to dance. Yes. If, if I could do anything else, that's what I wanted to do. Now, now when you was dancing, um, how was it in the industry? Well, I mean, because I know you know you had the Cotton Club, and, oh, yeah. and then, I'm not saying you were there, but, yeah, but you had yeah, that yeah, type yeah. of thing when we read about yeah. segregation Club, and stuff. No, no, I didn't say you. I didn't say you. I didn't say you. I didn't know you're 21. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but, but, but you know, like coming up, you know how like when you read yeah. about a lot of stuff in, in some right, people's right, ways, right, 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 right. like even today, you still have yeah, racism yeah. and stuff like oh, that. Absolutely. How did you, did, did you ever encounter anything like that? Like, like when you was dancing mm. and going from club to club? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I mean, we always encountered it. I mean, mm. there was, um, oh, you know, th there are so many stories. That are, we mm. don't have that much time, mm -hmm. but, but I think, you know, there's, there's different parts of my life where I started dancing mm -hmm. and I, I wasn't a professional dancer, but I began to mm -hmm. realize that wherever I went to dance, mm -hmm. nobody looked like me. Right. And that was the main thing. Mm -hmm. It was like, I'm not supposed to be here because mm -hmm. if you don't see anybody who looks like you when you walk in, you go, 
Mm, mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Whether it's a man or a woman or old people, young people, or right. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So I think from then on, I began to say, well, I'm going to create it where some folks at least feel like me or look like me or right. whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think that that was it. I didn't say I wanted to be a professional dancer, although I would look at American Bandstand. Mm -hmm. And the only one that looked sort of like me was Annette Funicello. So I mm -hmm. changed my name from Cleo because nobody said, Cleo, are you Cleopatra? So I was so tired of being called Cleopatra until mm -hmm. later. Mm -hmm. Then I go to Egypt and I go, let me check out Cleopatra. Okay. Right. So, but, but I said, so call me Annette, because I'm going to be like an American bandstand. Mm -hmm. So it, it got so better. You changed it got name. better so, so, so you I just said, just call, call me Annette. Annette. Call me Annette. Annette. As oh, they say, club me. name. <laughs> that's my yeah. club name. <laughs> that's what I did too. I said, call me L, as in L DeBarge, you know, because that's what I wanted. <laughs> call me L, but you Annette. <laughs> that's right. Annette Funicello. That was the only way to sort of. You know, because there weren't any people of color on mm -hmm. American Bandstand at that time. Right. But anyway, so I began to create just mm -hmm. opportunities. And, um, and then I knew that I wanted to be in New York. So I would say by the time I was 19, right. when I went to New York, mm -hmm. I then said, this is where I went to. Actually, I went to Arthur Mitchell's. Mm -hmm. And when I saw the company, did anybody see Arthur Mitchell's company yeah. here? Yeah. Dance here to Harlem. It was so beautiful. Yeah. But I had some incredible memories about getting into Harlem right. and walking into that studio and seeing mm. all these young kids on the floor just being mesmerized by this great man. Right. Just that respect, that beauty, right. and that respect, that self-dignity is what right. just blew my mind. Yes. And so I said, Denver, I mean, you know, because that's when I started at the Model Cities Cultural Center. Right. At about, um, right after that at 21. So I never stopped for 40 years. See, and that's, that's one so thing that's that is key. good. Y'all got to give it up for that. Because that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a yeah, but I did it with everyone. Yes. I mean, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't anything that I had planned. I know a lot of people plan their lives out. Right. I just feel mine. Mm -hmm. I feel it. And if it mm -hmm. feels good, I do it. If it doesn't feel good, I may not do it. Right. And yeah. then I say, wait, am I supposed to have a lesson here? You know. Yeah. But I think I've been very fortunate. I mean, we've taken the company around the world so yes. many times. And, yes. But I think some of the beauty of it is... Uh, I mean, being with great artists, because I re remember um, Donald McHale, you know, I mean, he would say, Bill Cosby's in town, let's go hang out with Bill Cosby. And I said, well, invite him to the party. Right. And we'd have color girls parties, and, mm -hmm. and Bill Cosby would come. And, right. I mean, just so we were around a lot of extraordinary people. Mm -hmm. You know, I worked with um, Gordon Parks, and yes. I got to work with him for 10 years. It took us 10 years to make a film, 10 right. years. And I loved every year of the 10 years. Yes. But I would say if people make a film, don't take 10 years. Right. Unless you're working with Gordon Parks. Now, <laughs> yeah. now if it's Gordon Parks, you take 10 years. But, yeah. but doing Catherine Dunham's work is probably my greatest joy. So, so let's talk about your, um, what you have here, the Cleo Parker yeah. dance. Let's talk, yeah. How did that now, yeah. now, how did that come about for you to, to do it right here? Because y'all yeah. travel yeah. everywhere. You have great um, dancers who you have with yeah. you. Do you? I mean, is there? Do, do they have to audition, or, yeah. or what is it? Uh, tell oh, me yeah. about that. Well, when I started, I just started with high school kids. I started um, at that point. I was on staff at CU mm -hmm. teaching black dance, and what was really mm -hmm. wild is it was the first black dance that CU had ever had. Right. So I have. Um, the, the professor who said, Cleo, I want you to do this program. This is something that CU needs. And, mm -hmm. and I didn't go to CU. They didn't accept me in the dance program. Hello. Yeah. So, uh, uh -huh. so I went up there and started teaching. You know, you can't go into the program, but I'm going to teach. So I started teaching in black dance. Mm -hmm. And I went to the first class, and they were all white people. Mm -hmm. I came back and I said, what is going on? I've never had a class where I think we're going to have black dance and no black people. I just, I said, what is wrong with this picture? I just, I didn't even know what that meant. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, this is what, we don't have any black people. That's why you're going to be teaching right. black dance. Yeah. I said, oh, so, so they want to tell create, me all that. They want to create their own soul train, like, you know. <laughs> I mean, it was fine. Exactly. Yes, I, she couldn't I do this because her hand like, stuck in her hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, though, that's not appropriate. So the only way I could get black dancers was I recruited from the wrestling team. Okay. And the football team. So okay. that's where my black dancers came from, the men. Okay. So I wanted men to dance, but they right. didn't want to dance. They were worried about being in those tights, you know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, I, yeah. Remember, I said I was going to dance. So I saw that first dude come out. I said, ooh, you need that, uh, that new boss. You can't. <laughs> Let me, let me they were so worried about being yeah. called gay. It was so weird. Yeah. And so I, it's I was cold like, in the room. Yeah, yeah. They, it's they, cold. They, they, was, they wouldn't even touch it. 
So to turn it around right. so men, but see, when I, I go around the world and when I was in Africa, all the men dance. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what the men do for, right. I mean, they, they compete. I right. mean, that's really something. So mm -hmm. to keep trying to tell the men it was all right, right. they could dance, it wouldn't be like, you know, they wouldn't be disowned. Right. But it took a long time to change yeah. culture, change the way people think. Right, now, mm -hmm. now one thing that I want to touch on before we get out, I love the fact that your Denver Dancing with the Stars. If you Yay! haven't seen her Denver fabulous. Dancing with the Stars, we got some it here. Is so we much fun. Here. Yes, we have people in the audience. Yeah. Denver Dancing with the Stars. It was like Dancing Scott with the Stars. Mitchell. Yeah, Scott Mitchell. Scott Mitchell. So it, you had all of those people. What made it so fun is that they took people. Um, you know, you know, people, just workers and businessmen, um, elite of, of the community, to come out and, and, and dance, and they would dance with somebody from the crew. Now, Fabulous. tell me, now tell me how it came out, because man, it is so. Mm. When I was there, I, it, it was it was a great mm. just experience to see everybody dancing. You know, it even they good. know, you know, they they they, they, they took <laughs> it back, that. and someone wore the tights though. It was but, you serious, know. serious. I, 13 wonderful community leaders yes. came in and supported the company all kinds of ways, financially, mm -hmm. which is really, we hate to talk about money, mm -hmm. but there's no way in the world that you can keep a company together in mm -hmm. Denver, Colorado, mm -hmm. unless you have people who are ready to give their, their all of their resources, right. not mm -hmm. just, you know, show up. Right. I don't have any money, but I'm here. Mm -hmm. That helps, that mm -hmm. helps, but it isn't totally. I mean, because right. I feel like what our community just did was, was um, an example for the rest of the country. Right. Really, I mean, what we did in Denver is an example for the rest of the company, right. for the country. Mm -hmm. And I realized that because I've been doing it all over the world, right. and I know how hard it is for many. I know how hard it is for Arthur Mitchell. Mm -hmm. And he's the only one in Harlem, he's the only one in the world who does what he does. Right. And I know how hard it is. Mm -hmm. I know how hard it was for Alvin Ailey. So to get people who will come out Mm -hmm. and support you financially, mm -hmm. spiritually, right. and show up and do the hard work, which yes. was the dance. Yes. They had to get in those classes. <laughs> and I mean, they had to work. They had to give up their time and energy. Mm -hmm. And then almost go like, oh my God, am I going on stage in mm -hmm. front of all of these folks? Yes. And this is something I don't do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do it every day. So we're mm -hmm. used to finally getting right. out there. Mm -hmm. But I remember um, doing rain dance and having one of my wonderful supporters come out and the minute we were getting ready to go out on stage to do rain dance mm -hmm. and she had heart problems. I mean, mm -hmm. she and I both have heart problems. So mm -hmm. I would, she said, Cleo, I can't go out there. I said, sweetheart, it's too late. It's, the lights are going up. You have to go out. <laughs> uh -huh. It's time. This is not the time to say you're not going out. And I freaked out and I thought, oh my God, are we going to have one of these 13 stars? Right. And they all went out. Yes. And they not only went out and did it, but they wore it they out. They tore it they wore up. It out. They wore it out. And, they and did it. people were like, you've been studying dance a long time. That was only like maybe five weeks mm -hmm. of maybe getting one class a week or something yes. like that. Not a long time. But I think that what we showed is anybody can do anything. When there's a will, there's a way. There's a will, there's, there's a way. There's a will, there's a way. There's there's a a way. There's and if will, you believe in way. something so strong, which right. is they believed in the mission of the company and the organization. because. Right. Gwen Brewer and Moses and of course Valeria is here, yes. Hassan and Lubasan, and people, Ken Johnson, I mean, when they believe in you and they brought you to me. Right. I remember I said, oh Lord, what are we gonna do? And you made me feel so comfortable that I didn't read the script and I'm in trouble today. Yeah. They wrote that script for hours. And when I got with you, I just went, okay, y'all, we are here. And they said, it's not in the script Wait, like that wait, no, I gotta tell the story. <laughs> so, so they wrote this script. The script, I mean, like, like good 23 pages oh, of the I mean, script. Like, serious. this is the script. This we're going to lead. They said, Shedrick, Miss Cleo, Shedrick, Miss <laughs> Cleo. I'm going to say, welcome, everybody. Miss Cleo said, hello, sugars. You know, <laughs> it said, I said, welcome, everybody. Hey, y'all, what y'all doing over there? You good? <laughs> yes, we are. I'm like, that's not the script. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, we were off. We were I was off. like, we I don't even off, got off my script. check, Miss Cleo. Off they ain't going to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was so much fun. Now, if we want to baby. see anything wonderful. about you, what is you, the website? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the website, cleoparkerdance.org. And I just think it's so beautiful that we have something like this. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I've been with the International Black Dance Conference. We just played L.A. last a couple of weeks ago. And I was with Debbie Allen mm -hmm. and many, many others. 
And Debbie and I are working on a project mm -hmm. called Southland. Okay. And it's that I've gotten this grant to do Catherine mm -hmm. Dunham's work mm -hmm. that has never been done in the world. Mm -hmm. um, it's been done in Chile and Paris. Mm -hmm. And so it has never been done in our country because it was about the hanging, the lynchings in the South. Right. And so therefore it's been banned in our country, mm -hmm. but I just w received a major grant from the National Endowment yes. to take it around the world. Yes. And so for dancers, to know that the Catherine Dunham Dance Company was disbanded as soon as they did it yes. is a very risk-taking mm -hmm. uh, position for us to take. So we need everybody's love, you see? Yes. I mean, we really need that love and yes. support. Yes, so y'all make sure. We need it, we need it. Y'all give Miss Cleo we all the it. love. Miss Cleo, yeah. thank you so honey, much for this. You, Ladies and gentlemen, y'all right. gotta give it up for all the legend herself, Miss Cleo Pagaradison.